All right, I'm about to date myself right now. I'm an old guy, okay? Oh, I'm going to take you back to Soul Train 100 years ago. Okay. Uh, Rakim was on, and Don Cornelius said, you're a very serious young man. And Rakim said, I ain't no joke. And I feel like Yudoka's demeanor, right? I, I don't know. I just I feel like he's all Locked business. In. I feel like he has the respect of the room. I feel like he has the respect of the league. You tell me. Is the, his rep as an assistant, and now he, he got a shot with Boston. And I, from January until now, I just feel like every button he's pushed – He's just. This is what I. This is what I'm about. Yeah, I think you have to get, or, or, uh, you know, uh, top leadership credit also. You know, Brad Stevens obviously stepping down. This is the person they hired, and, and you know, it, it was shaky in the beginning, you know, and then you know, you you see the finished product and you look at it like, hey man, maybe they know what they're doing over there. So you got to give leadership a lot of credit from the Boston Celtics. Well, and and you, you, we we have a tendency on our side of the microphone to want things to be a finished product from day one. Yeah. And it's a fluid thing. Teams change throughout the course of a season. I just wonder how, how has Boston changed most from what they were to what they are right now in terms of what we see on a night like this? I mean, when we played them this year, I, I, and I looked at them like just the regular Boston Celtics, and, I, and you know, just, you know, play hard, play scrappy, uh, game get close, they might, you know, they might give it up at the end, you know, whatever. But when we and played, they've done a little bit of that in the playoffs. Too. I mean, just it's happened. But and, go ahead. And we were the leading. We we were best offense in the league at the time. Uh -huh. Man, we played them. I think we had 30 points at halftime. <laughs> I mean, like it felt like we couldn't even move. Getting in our offense was super hard. Uh -huh. Obviously, playing in Boston was super hard. You know, uh, guys making shots. So that defense is real. You have to give them a lot of credit. I, I, you know, I'll say it again. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have Boston winning game one. I didn't have Boston winning the series. But. Uh, I wouldn't say my mind is different right now, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm biting my words for sure. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's one game, but you would know as well as anybody that isn't defense just – isn't – what percentage of defense is just desire to do it? I think, uh, like, I wouldn't say 100, maybe 92% of it is just will. You know, the other eight is, uh, you know – um, you know, something else. Something else, but <laughs> for sure, 92 is, is, is definitely will, for sure. Well, you got to have, have to have the appetite to, uh, to do it. And, I mean, in this game, again, as we saw in the first quarter, Steph got loose for 21, mm. goes for 34. As Stephen A. pointed out, Clay didn't have the game that he would have hoped to have. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, at some point, we'll see more of that highlight in that fourth quarter. You make 10 straight shots, a 9 of 11 in a finals, in, a, in, a, in, a, in your first finals as a, as a team, uh, you can't play better than that. I mean, Jason Tatum, 13 assists. Uh, Pritchard, he came up, he played well. Obviously, we spoke about Derek White. But, I, again, you give Derek White a lot of credit. This is coming from a, a, a player who's been on the pop. Mm -hmm. So, he's been, he understands playing the right way, winning basketball. He understands that. Right. Uh, you know, Marcus Smart bench comes back in, hits two big threes. Al Horford, you know, clipping it, clipping it, clipping it. So, you got to give him a lot of credit, man. They, uh, they were very poised and came. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.